Let's play ball, basketball. I have a composition for you. I want to talk a little bit about it and then I'll show you what I think should be done to make it just a little bit better. The uh, scene is Miami, I believe. This was at a time when Mr. Wade was the star of the show and his opponent was Shaquille O'Neal. But now, then later, they were on the same team. You have a lot of action, a lot of loose brush strokes, but I wanted to point out one thing that I find fault with. If I take and divide the canvas, and I'm saying that's about half, you see all the action is on the left side. Now, in a composition, there, it was uh, Turner and Claude Lorraine that used to have a big liar shape. So they'd have the bulk on one side, which we have, and then they'd have a little distance. And what I propose to do is make a little distance over there with something happening. We could either do a cheerleader or another ball player. Let's make another ball player. The way I like to do this when I block these in is you start out kind of a neutral tone and I have uh, blue and white and Payne's gray and then we'll um, add lights to it. I'm looking at a player over in here and right now it doesn't say which team he's on. All I know is that he's saying, give me the ball, give me the ball. So I kind of block it in and then I'll start putting character on it. Now it's time to start putting character on it. Burn number. We'll get a little bit of a head over here. And what I want is something that's very much in the distance. So I'm softening that a little bit. And then we'll put an arm down. So I'm going right over which the gray was. Reaching, because this guy, this guy dribbling, Wade could easily flip it behind his back. They're so, the basketball players are so clever. And we'll go to the side, the other side and his arm is hanging down like this. So I haven't done this one before. We're just kind of enjoying the opportunity to show you something. Okay, down for the legs. Your leg is coming a little bit this way. Maybe I'm making a cheerleader after all. And he's been running a little bit. Let's have that hand come down in there just slightly. Okay, now I'm going to blend that a little bit before I put any more light on it. But you, you get the point. You get what I'm uh, uh, striving for, and that is to have a little more balance in the composition, bringing the arm up just a little bit more. You don't, you don't do that. Your hand is going out that way. Okay, so let's now add some color to the uniform because you're on the, the Wade's team, Dwayne Wade. What a super athlete. I have a little alizarin crimson and the blue and white. So there's not going to be any question on whose team you're on, is there? And you see by having put the light on first that this uh, makes it where we can blend into it and it won't be quite as dark.
and the shorts. Now, what are there design on the shorts? A little bit. We have a little light on. Do you know the way to Paris? Okay, now we'll just spark a little lights on here and there. What color should we take? This is raw sienna and a little red. And you notice the way this is done, it's very brush strokey. So I'll just put on like that. It's not real blending taking place. What kind of shoes do you want? You better endorse some good shoes. Your, your uh, Payne's gray. It looks like your teammate has some black ones. Oops, I can't see yours. And he has a little sock that comes up like that. Okay, let's put just a little suggestion of a face on there. And I'm using the red and the raw sienna. Like that. Boy, you, you have a sizable hand. So I'm going to cut that down a little bit. I'll take uh, a little bit of the purple. Yeah, purple and white. And we'll just cut this in slightly on both sides. Kind of a strong arm, which is fine, but let's put the shirt over it just a little bit more like that. Little dark that will be between the arm and the shirt. And I can see you having just a little blue in there. Okay, now let's see if there's anything else that we should be considering. I, I think uh, slightly blending, we've blended this before. But my aim was what? To get just a little bit of a balance and you, you feel movement with him. So I think that has accomplished what we should do there. I look at this and think, well, it would help a little bit if I, oops, what are you doing? You still got your dress suit on. Let's take just a little bit of a lizard crimson and white and see if I come there, it, it'll just establish that shoulder a little more. Boy, he has some big arms, doesn't he? And he does. He's a giant of a man. Great athlete and super personable. Boy, he's fun to listen to. I have a good light against the front of the of Wade's head, but if I go just a little lighter there and blend it out so you, you're not saying it's any particular thing, We can do the same thing now. Take some of that light, come back over here and go behind him just a little bit and in front. It just features him. But you can see what I've done is that I've tried to balance the composition. And you certainly, you can do whatever you need to. If you, if you need to soften a little bit more, not quite so strong, but just a suggestion of, then it, then it works. So I hope that the ball bounces right for you and your team wins. My team always wins. See you next time. Bye-bye. Funded by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund with money from the vote of the people of Minnesota on November 4th, 2008. And by the members of Prairie Public.